Well, I mean, you're on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, guys, welcome to Stash Cash or Pass. You know the place where we just basically discuss, I guess, the top ten list. I'm 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 already thrown off at this point because, you know, technicals. All right. There's no technical difficulties. It is because I'm literally just now showing up on my end. I didn't know what was going on, no. so the, it, that's a technical at that. Nah, point. Please, I, I it doesn't matter. Don't, don't it doesn't worry matter. about it really the screen. If I cue you at this point, you cue. The point is. Welcome to Keynote Comics, the place where you can discover comic books and comic book related content. This is Stash Cash or Pass, where we basically do give our thoughts on the top 10 list books, how we're feeling. Is it going to be a stash? Is it going to be a cash? Or is it going to be a pass? What is going on, Joel? Joel is in the building right now. Joel is with us every single day. Every single on, day? On a Friday. Every <laughs> single Friday, rocking out with us. Uh, we're going to have to talk to you about uh, that, that shipment that came in. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Well, I mean, it, it was literally in the description last week. He, 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 he told us about it. But we, we got to kind of see it. Yeah. We, we saw a good amount of it. Kind of. Not in person, but through through uh, another video. Oh, we got TanCon in the building as well. What's going on? But um, this has actually been a pretty... This I think this is going to be a pretty good list for today. Um, got some pretty nice books on there. And... Some are different. We did add a little bit more stuff to it than what was, uh, you know, searched on. Um, we're going to add our little thoughts on as variant covers because, you know, within the comic book community, that is a big thing. Variants are the hot ticket right now. And it's probably going to be for quite some time at this point. I'm just, you know, rolling it out there. I mean, you did have a slightly different perspective. You were saying something about how the regular covers are going to potentially have a little bit, you know, better running room down the road. You oh, what you mean, like how, oh, my, my theory? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. I I feel like with the variants, since people are coveting the variants, then people are using the uh, cover A's as reader copies. And in turn, that's going to create a moment where, you know, there's they're going to be scarce with the cover A's because everybody uses them as reader copies and get the variants, you know, to try to collect. So then the the amount of new uh, cover A's is going to go down, 9.8's is going to go down, and then, yeah, that, that's how I feel. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we got our people in here right now, so we're going to go ahead and start it off with the CBS I list. Uh, once again, I think I just got to catch myself and make sure I state this, that we are not affiliated with these you know, brands that are doing these lists. We are just giving our thoughts and opinions. We highly recommend that you guys check them out. And with no further ado, first book. Actually, was- further ado, before we get started, I would like to say bravo to uh, one Brandon Griggs. We are teaching, well, I am teaching him how to uh, start the show. Uh, he he did the rundown today. He collected the assets, created the documents, and set up the OBS for the show today. I tried to get him to run it, but he was like, nah, not today. So too if you much, ever see me much. on the opposite side of the camera, know that Brandon is running the show. You know, because it's too much to take in on the first try. You know, you got to start doing little baby steps, you know. I'm already probably going to forget half the stuff that I did anyways. And, and I'm going to teach him again. And that's, that's fine. You know, it's probably going to take me about two or three times after that. All right. Well, we got a lot of weeks to go. But anyways, back to it. CBS Eyelist, Taskmaster number three. This came out, <coughs> well, what, this week? Yes. So, yeah. this. Oh, yeah. No, exactly. This week. Uh, but, yeah. So, came out this week. This is the Shane Davis 1 in 25 ratio variant. Currently going for 60 to $75. And it is the first appearance of a name I cannot even pronounce. So, I'm not even going to try it. So we're just going to go ahead and spell it out, which is T-A-E-J-U-K-G-I. Nah. Exactly. So I'm going to leave it at that. Fire cover. We were in the presence of it. Somebody picked it up while we were there. Yeah. It was only one of them. Yeah, it was only one cover. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't. I wasn't even thinking about it until afterwards when I got back. And it wasn't even about this cover. It was just about the book in general because I, I, I forgot to pick up the just a copy in general for even just like the regular cover. The re- regular cover is pretty dope as well. Uh, we don't have it up here for you guys to check out, but you know, just look into it. This is the first appearance. I don't know the significance of this character. 
whether or not this is going to be something that's going to be short term or long term. I'm going to leave that up to the people that are reading it. If you haven't read it, go ahead and check it out and see what you think yourself or just ask around and see what other people will think. Um, I'm going to probably have to go ahead and read this because, like I said, I was interested in actually picking this book up. So I'm going to probably have to go ahead and grab it next week anyways. Um, but with it being a first appearance, I don't see why not just grabbing. Even if you don't have this cover, why not just go ahead and grab, you know, the regular cover if your LCS still has it at cover price. Um, but yeah, this is out the gate. I don't know the significance of how this this character is going to be in with staying power, so I'm not going to actually chase this book. This would have to be a pass for me on this level. Um, maybe if I read it and felt differently, I would stash it. If not, then I'd cash it. So I'm going to say it's a pass for me, but yeah, obviously if I had it right now, I'd cash it. Just like uh, the uh, gentleman that we met at the LCS this week, <laughs> Uh, Rob at uh, Cool Stuff Collectibles That's his YouTube channel uh, We ran into him uh, At the LCS And yeah He he, he had noticed it uh, In the uh, variant section At Big Planet And he was like Oh yeah I'm definitely grabbing this Like how much is going for On the resale So yeah well, Rob was uh, in full effect He was He was He was on the hunt yeah. Alright like if Hey he's in here He's in here Hey what's going on Yeah So <laughs> Yeah if there was a definition Of being on the hunt Rob was on the hunt Yeah so so yeah, it was, it was cool to see. Yeah, and he definitely grabbed it. So uh, I'm I'm sure it it might be it might be a stat. Well, actually, it's probably a cash for you uh, <laughs> with the resale value right now. Yeah, which is is not a, at a bad point. At, like what I mean, I didn't I didn't see what the price they were going for at at the store. Yeah, I, I missed that too. Yeah, but still, it it it's gonna be a margin that's that's up there. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, once again. I would I'd have to check it out and see what how I feel about this character. You know, yeah. some people uh, some characters you can probably read it and be like, all right, this is like a one time thing. It's going to be short term. Other times it might be long. And if you're feeling that it's long, you might want to just hold it and stash it. But like I said, since I don't know right now, I'm not going to chase this book at this level. I mean, I think I've kind of missed it at this point. Yeah. If I feel otherwise later on the road once I pick up that regular cover for cover prices. Hopefully they're still there at this mm -hmm. point. Uh, you know, it might change my ideas on it. Yeah, I, th I feel like yeah. If I if I could if I could get anywhere close to cover price, then it would probably be a uh, you know a stash or actually it'd be a cash if I could get it anywhere close to st the right. sticker price. But then again, if I could get it close to you know cover price, then probably everybody else can too. So right. <laughs> maybe it has gone too far then. But it is a first appearance, so maybe it's a potential stash. Uh, Rob so, says he's gonna see where it's gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's cool. Um. Yeah, you should hold it for a while. See, see if it uh, bubbles up. Yeah, yeah. So, anybody, how is everybody else feeling on this one? Is it a stash? Is it cash? Or is it a pass? Well, Joe said if you can't say the name, you have to pass. <laughs> so I thought he was referring to me, so that's why I was. I kind of started laughing earlier. Yeah, but who can say the name? If you can say the name, um, you win nothing. But you, you win. Tejukai. <laughs> Tejuki? Te Maybe I got it. Te Tecon says I'm stashing to mix it up. <laughs> Joe says I passed too. All right. Well. All right. So on to the next book. We have Avengers 186. Now this is the first. Well, it's actually got a couple um, first appearances in this one, but um, the appearance that people are focused on right now with this book is the first appearance of Chathan. I believe I'm saying that right. Sure. Chathan. C H T H O N. <laughs> But this book is going for 40 to $60. As you can see clearly on the cover, you have Wanda. That's what people are specking on. And this character is a villain. So they're, you know, I think um, someone from uh, the CBSI, uh, uh, what's their channel called? Uh, Tales from the Flip Side. Oh, okay. Tales from the Flip Side. Yeah, so Tales from the Flip Side, uh, someone from that uh, group or whatever. They basically were specking on this book, and it kind of makes sense. It's like if you look into the character, it kind of like yeah, I can see exactly where they're going with this. Um, but it's a key. It's an older book. I like this cover. I like the style of back in the day. Anyway, so this would have been a stash for me. Just even like like I don't know if I'm gonna pay for the forty to sixty right now on it, but you know I'd keep an eye on it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, hmm. 
I don't know. Yeah, it has that you know that vintage feel. Uh, that you know, that Earth's Mightiest Heroes cover is probably gonna be a pass for me anyway. But I, I mean, I I could I could see why you would stash it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Joel said I'd pass too. Was that I? Uh, I wish they had time. That, that was on the previous book. Oh, okay. So how's everybody feeling on this Avengers one eighty six? First appearance of Chaffin. Tancon says stash. Stash and everything today. <laughs> I'm going to find out. He has a whole new collection. Yeah, what if he did? I wouldn't even be mad at it. You, he's yeah. going to have to come with us on the hunt. Cool stuff. Collectibles. Cool comic, but I'd pass. Yes. I understand. I can I, respect that. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah. I just said I'd pass. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I can respect it because I said it as well. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, when I, when I was speaking earlier, I was more referring to, like, how that character sits with the storyline of Wanda. I could see how that could potentially be a thing later on. So, basically, that character was known to have controlled Wanda. Mm-hmm. And so, remember, she's being constantly asked. And I uh, actually, I feel like, I'm hoping I'm not spoiling anything for anybody that hasn't checked out WandaVision already, but I feel like there's also been enough time to kind of be able to speak on it a little bit. But yeah, Wanda's been constantly asked, is she the one that's doing everything? And then she's been speaking as if she's like, you think I'm the one that's in control and everything like that. So right now it's still a mystery. We have not checked out the latest episode for today. So I guess we'll find out. But all right, so let's not linger on to that one much longer. We're going to go ahead and move on to this next book, which is cover number one. This book is basically being optioned for HBO. I'm actually slightly uh, excited about this, Um, but it's uh, I don't know if it's necessarily going to be a series or a film that has that's not anything that I ended up finding out about. Uh, It's going for 20 to 25 dollars. I am liking the fact that this is going to be an HBO uh, project because we know AT&T owns Warner and Warner is in the HBO, you know, section as far as content that they're using for HBO Max and they're clearly trying to gear up and get their their um how do you put it like their comic book content to go ahead and be a part of, you know, that platform. This is the streaming wars. This is a series that has actually been uh hailed as being pretty good. So I could see if somebody wants to stash it. I don't think twenty to twenty five dollars right now on this book is bad. It is an older, it's not like old book, but you know, it'll be in a back issue. At one point, I believe it's going for about four dollars, so it has made a pretty big jump. Mm-hmm. Nobody was paying attention to it, so be on the hunt for this book. See if you can find it in some back issues, if possible. If not, and you feel cool with paying the twenty and twenty five dollars, I could honestly, you know, consider it. So I'm gonna shop around. So right now on this pat uh this price like if I can't find it I'm down to pay on this price you know and spec on this book right now. Okay, so it's actually going to be an, an adult oh it's going to be an adult animated series on HBO Max. Okay. And the story revolves around a uh fan uh, well it's a comic book creator named Max Fields who encounters a fan who claims to be interested in purchasing some original artwork artwork don't know why i said artwork in reality though she is a cia agent who wants to use max as a cover for a dangerous mission which you know makes it seem like that john claude van johnson you know style series in an uh, animated gotcha. form which i mean could be cool and bendis is actually writing on it with um david mack so it, it'll be looks like it's in good hands yeah and then rooster teeth studios which is a uh, pretty decent is uh producing the project for hbo max so uh, i don't think it's gonna be yeah i don't think it's a bad thing to spec on so mm-hmm. yeah especially at 20 to 25 dollars if you could get an auction you know for a little bit less than that then that's probably the greatest way to go so mm-hmm. as far as spec goes since it looks like it's actually being developed i would say yeah this is gonna be a stash just to see because because i mean i highly doubt it'll go down mm-hmm. but that doesn't necessarily mean the margins will put it up like super high like but then again, you know, you got Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, which is another, you know, animated adaptation that mm-hmm. seems to be going up right now. So. But see, I think normally I would like 
be like, ah, uh, nah, not with this. But the mm-hmm. way that these streaming platforms are getting really geared up to put time and money into their projects. Yeah. I'm seeing this to be a potential good thing. Yeah. Uh, let me just go ahead and shout out DJ Desperado, the comic collector in the building with us right now. What's going on? Joel did say, wait, animated, I pass. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, <laughs> typically, uh, yeah, when you hear that it's an animated project, then you're going to be a little more hesitant and more likely to pass. But look, seeing the trailers and the crew assembled for like Invincible and then seeing the cast and crew that they got together from Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur which we'll be talking about a little bit later it mm-hmm. seems like they're really putting the uh, their heart and soul into these animated projects and that only gives more credence for them to possibly yo, expand to the live action realm if they get a positive reception for that right yeah and then DJ uh, says stash So, okay. Khan also says Rooster Teeth and HBO stash. <laughs> so okay, so I think so far everybody is stashing except Joel. <laughs> yes, yes. I don't know. Maybe, maybe if the trailer comes out, uh, we can look back at this and uh, see how we still feel. Uh, so he says, "Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur." I feel differently about as animated, maybe because I have more faith in Marvel, which yeah could be true. And just because it's a new, you know. It's a new, uh, what's the word, a project that is actually being developed. Like, she hasn't been on the screen in any of the other shows. And it's, yeah, it's it's um, Disney Plus and not, like, uh, the like the Disney Channel. It's, like, it's not like a Disney Channel right. show, like Ultimate Spider-Man or something like that. So Which I yeah. enjoyed. I mean, those, those, are, those are still pretty good. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, the eyes that are on it are going to be a little bit more plentiful. Gotcha. So, yes. Yeah, it makes sense. All right. So, uh, next book is <laughs> one probably nobody was really expecting for this one. This is actually X Force number one, the poly bag with Deadpool card selling for thirty to forty dollars. Um, I'm gonna just put this out there. People are collecting a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff is being increased in price. I can't sit here and say that it's inflated. Um, I guess we'll really have to see within the next couple of years of what the supply is mm-hmm. like in, you know, sitting on grading census or on the uh, secondary market and everything. But Deadpool card, that's the main reason why this book is spiking. People mm-hmm. are picking it up. People are getting more into collecting the old Marvel uh, collectible cards. And I, I'm not in that realm, so I can't even speak on whether or not that's it, it's, if it's worth it. But, I mean, if we sit here and think about this book and you think about just going on a hunt and seeing this book in plentiful, I guess we can go ahead and use that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah it's a 90s, early 90s book. It's been around for quite some time. It's probably gone hand and fist thrown around in boxes and that can potentially damage the card which means you're probably not going to necessarily get a whole lot of those cards in high grade possibly i don't really know but i'm just saying i've seen this book and you know you're like, oh x-force number one whatever you know you're just kind of going through it right um x-force number one is is a basically a key at a sense right so yeah. i mean you know you can't even really even sneeze at this book either because we have now seen that books just like this books that you would commonly see out in the wild pick it up and now they're kind of going for higher prices look at static number one go you used to go on the hunt see like at least like 40 50 of those books and now this book's like what basically a hundred dollars at this point raw mm-hmm. so yeah um, I'm not, you know, why not? Just see if you get the luck of the draw and get a, get a good card. It's, it's like, it's that, that, that's the game with this one. So, right. you know. So this one is specifically because the Marvel cards the card, are out here the bubbling. Card. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Because when it comes to the books, like, mind you, I, I, I feel like the books are cool, but at the same time, I don't think that we're going to see an X-Force movie anymore, so we're probably only going to get X-Force inside of Deadpool 3, maybe, even mm-hmm. if they decide to go that route. So, yeah, it's kind of iffy on the X-Force as a uh, first appearance title, but, yeah, for the cards, like, yeah, I guess, 
you gotta go for it but yeah just definitely try to find it in a dollar the, the cars are the craze joel says ripped it out wednesday night and cashed it for a hundred dollars oh my gosh raw so he ripped it out the book and cashed it for a hundred dollars that is a pretty good deal for what you can probably pick this book up for right now might as well just go to the lcs tomorrow yeah. and it says pick, you, pick can, see, you can see the card on the back it's face up so you know what you're getting my goodness yeah so i guess this is a cash yeah cash <laughs> cash cash. <laughs> cash out right now like immediately or it's not even really a cash it's kind of like pick the book up cheap and then cash the card and then maybe because like i mean i don't i guess nobody's really caring about the book itself because you want it po- poly bagged and you want the card to come along with it so mm-hmm. it's kind of hard to speak on this book because we're not really speaking about the books in, in, right. in a sense so tank on says cash 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 all right so next book is amazing spider-man 257 um this is the first appearance of ned Leeds as the hobgoblin um 20 to uh, 25 to 30 dollars raw which is actually a pretty decent increase considering that it was actually 10 to 15 not too long ago um people are really specking on the fact that uh the actor that plays Ned in uh, the Spider-Man movie has lost weight. They think he's trying to, you know, get ready for the role. High speculation. I, I really don't know. There's just like, there's, maybe they will build up to that point, but I don't see that happening in this movie. Mm-hmm. I think they just have way too much stuff. Like, but that's that why people I are think, specking on to that's go why I think it movie. does happen in this movie. You think it does happen? In this yeah. Movie? Because I don't, I don't see if if that happens. I feel like it's gonna be an entire multiverse play, mm-hmm. and I think that in that situation, it's it's a uh, it's where you know it's like it's like community darkest timeline. Mm-hmm. Like you, you get yeah, evil Ned because I there's there's been nothing in the last two movies that set up Ned as a character that would turn evil. Mm-hmm. Uh, as, and especially because they basically co-opted the Miles Morales style story in order to create Ned in this. So yeah, there's there's nothing that would you know put him in the you know hobgoblin world. So I feel like it is, uh, yeah, it's a situation where he would you know take on the mantle for a brief period and then. It would. It wouldn't. It'd be a one and done. So gotcha. that's why I feel like it's a stash until it's a stash. Now, trailer comes out. If anything, if any content like you see that it's actually happening, mm-hmm. cash immediately because I don't see it continuing in the MCU. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna just speak for myself personally. I thought I already had this book in there. This was a stash for me in in the first place. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say stash for me. I I really like this cover. And I like this kind of like section of uh, the style of artwork that was going on with Spider-Man at this time. Um, but yeah, for me, it, it was it's a stash anyways. Mm-hmm. And it's not even off of, you know, the that, you know, because um, was this like the second appearance of Puma? I think I think so. I think I, I, I might be wrong on that one, but I believe it's the second appearance of Puma. But yeah, so um, stash for me. It is a what for you? It's a. It's a cash. Stash to cash. Stash to cash. Okay. Yeah, like, 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 grab it now, even at the price that it's at, because I feel like, yeah, you're gonna be able to cash it for higher. What's like any, if anything, if there's a hint to coming out, like that show, like, well, that that shows like it's a factual thing that's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Like, even, even like, like, um, how, um. Uh, molten man like how they had the uh teasers uh for the well, the elements it turns out to be the fabricated elementals in uh far from home yeah like like even with that <laughs> it's just like all right you know now that that thing like goes off so yeah like if you see anything then yeah so cool stuff collectibles i bought a copy at the hunt valley show last weekend for five dollars it's a short-term stash exactly yeah short-term stash yeah cash it boom and then go on because like i said i feel like they so so they've put the literally the weight of the world on peter if you haven't seen far from home i'm sorry but it's been out for a while so (laughs) this is technically a spoiler but when they reveal that peter parker is spider-man at the end of the movie it obviously sets up a t- 
totally destructive world for him because that's right. that's his whole thing. So cool stuff. So let's go. Says gotta go. I'll catch the rest of the live stream later. We appreciate uh, nice you having coming. you here. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So so yeah. I I just feel like they they're gonna throw everything at him, and after uh, Multiverse of Madness, that's gonna be resolved, and he's gonna end up in a situation where all of that's not on them. Maybe he ends up with a a vin- villain in Venom. <laughs> and that uh, pivots him into the Sony universe more. That that's kind of what I feel like is going to happen. But I don't see the Ned thing st- sticking. It's it's going to be like it was all a dream style thing. Not that right. it was actually a dream, but he was experiencing something from another universe. Right. Yeah. So it's like not his Ned, but uh, exactly. somebody else's Ned. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll we'll honestly we'll see where it goes. Mm-hmm. So but, uh, DJ Desperado says Stash, um, then Zaycon says I'm with Slan. So I'm gonna go and say this also. Um, we're getting to the point where these books are getting older, and you want to start really looking for these books, kind of books in high grade. So that's what I've been doing every single time I find one because I got like a couple of the uh, Carl Slobo and um, some other, you know, books that are. You know, villain, and that's the thing. That's another thing that we have to also consider that uh, villains only last for so long um, in the market as far as yeah. spec and everything like that. Because it's like, all right, it's great for the very first, you know, from once it's announced or it's being specced on. And then by the time it actually happens, then we kind of start seeing a decrease in it if it's not like the top tier villain. So, um But I think as far as condition of collecting, of just collecting itself and like, oh, I want to have this run. I want to have a very nice high grade copy. That's where I'm I'm sitting at with these books. It's like I'm I'm kind of picking them up and I'm kind of holding on to them. And maybe, you know, down the road, I'll go ahead and cash out on at some point. Right. All right. Moving on to this next one. This is a book that we have spoke on before, but this is actually just a regular cover. We spoke on the variant a while back. This is Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur number one. First appearance of Moon Girl, currently going for $275 to $235 at a 9.8. And I'm going to just say this, this book is going to go up. If th- This is cheap right now. Mm-hmm. I'm, uh, I'm just going to say that right now. I, that, and that's that's how I personally feel. I think this is something that people are kind of like, like, there's collectors that want this book, but people are kind of like, uh, I don't see this really going anywhere on major than to keep it elevated. I think that they're going to be wrong. Like I said, I think these streaming wars and the content that they're going to be creating is going to go pretty hard. So something to keep your eye on. I got to pick up a copy, but I'm trying to actually get the variant. Um, I do like this cover too. So maybe if I can find this at the right, pli- uh, right price raw, I'll go ahead and pick this up. This is a stash for me. I already got the, uh, the vent staples. That was the original one. Cause I was like, Oh, you know, I was already felt like I had missed the boat with that one, and I figured let me pick up this Vince Staple uh, hip hop cover variant because one, I I really like Vince Staples is for one of his, my favorite uh, projects that he's made, and I was like first appearance still like we're still still the book number one, so I was just like also black cover harder to get in you know high grade, so I thought I honestly thought that that uh book had a whole lot more going for it, so uh, I like the book, I'm gonna probably try and get it eventually, but I still gotta get you know other characters like Gabby like I figure if I already got the number one I might as well just you know keep an eye out if I find it for the right price pick it up then but yeah you yeah. still got other priorities at this point point. so I mean obviously um, if, you, if you follow me you know uh, I'm, I'm stashing <laughs> um, yeah uh, th- this is a stash for me uh, I have two copies of this, and then I have the Vince Staples cover. I would like the variant. I'm sure the variant's going to go up, too. This is a interesting situation where, well, I, I feel like in a few weeks we'll get to see, or in, in a few weeks, and then again when the show releases, we'll get to see what it's like uh, as far as the... Um, as the separation between them, because, like, this... Good God! This this cover and the hip hop variant cover were really close in uh, in actual price, and then the variant cover was kind of like blew it out the water. It was like a hundred dollars over what these were going for in a nine point eight, right. or maybe two hundred dollars. It was it was a good chunk. So 
I feel like you can't go wrong with any of these covers, which is a good thing because you know you, you, you <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you could buy this for for the cheap, then grab it for the cheap because uh, if you could grab if you could get it at nine point eight, it, it's gonna keep going up. Right. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur to the Moon. And I'm gonna ask. Look, I'm gonna actually add this as well. The reason, another reason why this it's it's more than just the show. They have confirmed, you know, voices already, you know, for the show. Mm-hmm. And one of them happens to be Lawrence Fishburne. So, you know, good old Larry. Morpheus. Yeah. What else? He's been in so much stuff at this point. Boys in the Hood. Higher Learning. True. But yeah. With that going forward, I mean that just might be his year. I mean it's, they're round enough to get them started. In that he, he's what he should be in the Matrix movie. He's not. He's not. Oh mm-hmm. really? Yeah. Oh well, that changes everything for me. So, <laughs> <laughs> moving on to the next one, we have uh, a book that has not been. It's been brought up on this uh, show. You didn't ask anybody this time. Oh, yeah, my uh, bad. Yeah, where's everybody sitting at? I, I am. <laughs> Hold on. So, wait, Joel said, I'd love to get a Moon Girl Devil Dinosaur number one and stash it. So, stash for Joel. Oh, Chosen One Lando. Uh, Lando. Yeah. You got to uh, give me your IG. I, I keep forgetting to go on here and check and, like, uh, message you. But, yeah, we got to get this battle. This battle going. Okay. Joe said, uh, Mr. Clean in Apocalypse Now, but that's before your time. I mean, <laughs> you know, you, you gotta you gotta watch, you know, the classics. Wait, was he Francis really? Ford Coppola? Mm. But uh Lando And says, also, um mm. dang, uh me Earl no yeah, it's me Earl and Cornbread. Lando yeah. says stash, people are sleeping on Moon Girl. But oh Larry Fishburne. I believe DJ Desperado uh, also said uh, stash as well for Moon Girl. Tancon says stash it. So I think everybody is stashing. <laughs> Tancon said Eminem Venom remix in the new Spider-Man movie confirmed. <laughs> uh. Hopefully it's better than the first one. All right, so everybody's stashing. Moving on to this next book, Uncanny X Men 266, first appearance of. Oh, well, all right. Controversy, first appearance of Gambit. All right. We know that he did technically first appear in cameo form, or, well, actually, no. It was, it's several panels, so first appearance in another book uh, for uh, X Men. But I'm going off of the cards, the OG cards from back in the day which mm-hmm. listed him as this being his first appearance that's how i've been doing it i mean we can sit here and debate it i think you should get either book i still got to pick up the other book you know because like why not just have it for the characters anyways mm-hmm. same thing with the um you know first appearance of wolverine o- og cards which came from marvel and everything stated that his first appearance was 180 and of course everyone's like 181 so I guess you know the debate of cameo and first appearance like it's cameo it's appearance it's an appearance so yeah uh so stash for me i got multiple reasons besides one is gambit two dope cover three it came out the year and month that i was born so yeah you got a lot with this book okay just to let you know lando says holy grand lando is his ig be sure to follow lando on instagram I got you. I will. Oh. I'll hit you up and uh, let you know. Uh, we can try to figure some things out in the uh, DM. And yeah, when you have a, a breakout character, it has to be a stash. So, right, Gambit stash. Absolutely. Unless you got it for the low end. So let's just sit here you. and mention how much this book is going for. All right, nine point eight was about six hundred dollars. Now we got it for seven fifty to seven hundred and seventy five dollars. This book's moving up. Yeah. This is cheap. We're going to sit here and say this is cheap because we know a lot of people like Gambit. Gambit is one of those characters that has a pretty decent cult following, I would say, for that. Because, like, he wasn't even, like, an X-Men character that was getting a whole lot of screen time. Except for, like, 
animated series wise and like certain sections is you know when they had the whole little uh origin story for him and everything mm-hmm. like that but other than that they were kind of focused on like a lot of other people so um but we know if he hits the screen this book's gonna pop it's gonna hit the thousands it's definitely i'm surprised like with this uh, maybe maybe it's kind of like a, a probably a won't thing. be channing tatum yeah probably won't uh <laughs> But I'm surprised. Maybe it has to do with like the fact that you know there's a lot of them out, and of course you mm-hmm. want to keep your eye out on the newsstand version. But I'm surprised like this book hasn't already been in the thousands at you know this point. Yeah, '90s is probably the big hit. But yeah, no, like once once he's not Taylor Kitsch in the movies, um, I feel like it's gonna get a real push. Yeah. Also, I don't think Taylor Kitsch was bad in Wolverine. X Men Origins Wolverine specifically. <laughs> um, I I just think that the movie was bad, but Taylor Kitsch is all right, and he's a good actor. And you should give him a chance if you totally read a ball, wrote a ball for Battleship and uh, X Men Origins Wolverine. I forgot that even came out. I haven't even seen that. Yeah, probably not worth it. But uh, Joel says on the hunt for that X Men, and when I find it, I'll stash it. Yes, mustache mustache <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean i think this is a common book that you can easily uh come across in an lcs um condition always varies mm-hmm. um like i said keep your eye on that newsstand maybe if you cop a newsstand at i don't know honestly i'm thinking anything from like a nine four and up is probably ideal if you think is you know feasible for you of course you know get what you can mm-hmm. i think even in like a mid grade. This is still a cool book to have. I don't see why not. It's a it's a dope X Men character. So stashing, stashing. Joel said stash. Um. How's it so far? Okay. So let us know what you guys think in the uh, chat for uh, Lando Tancon and uh, DJ Desperado. I'm pretty sure probably everybody's probably gonna say stash. You gotta stash it. I feel like it. Um, but yeah, no, that's it. No, that's just a start. That's it for uh, CBSI's list. We're going to ha- go ahead and move over to cover price list, which is going to start us off with um, Immortal Hulk, which is Immortal Hulk uh, number 43 uh, that came out this year. There is multiple covers on their list. We're just going to compile it into this one segment right now. So we have the uh, Joe Bennett homage cover. All right. So it's going to be the one that looks like a uh, vintage cover a little bit all right then we also have the uh the marvel versus aliens cover and the alex ross cover so currently this joe bennett cover is going for 71 dollars i think it's dope i really like it because it kind of gives that old school vibe with you know where it says you know you got the number 43 and everything and all they need is like you know the price you know put in the other side um and then yeah so we have this alex ross cover right here which is currently going for $62 raw. And then after that is the Marvel versus Aliens cover, which is going to be $35. Now, the reason why this book is spiking is because this is an error uh, book. And basically, you know, the uh, they were asked to basically to return these books back in. Now, the, the error in it is that, you know, there's a panel and there's basically a window like it's like a jewelry store and and it it should say jewelry and it basically has like a star of david in the window pane of this jewelry store but it says jewelry so it says uh it says j e w e r y instead of it's it's missing that l clearly and that's why this book is spiking i don't think this is what you should go for off of you know like i think it's cool to collect with these errors because it's kind of a historical thing and i'm all for that um but for the price level that people are charging for unless you really want this variant or, or particular cover i mean that's really all i can really go for i'd say if it's like off this hype of just that i'd probably cash it you know that's just me. But yeah. I wouldn't mind having one in a collection just because of the historical, you know, event of it being an error and the, the whole, you know, uproar about it. So I'm a fan of the Hulk body horror uh, of, of, the, of that cover. So, mm-hmm. yeah, like that, that 
Yeah, it looks like a 1980s body horror film poster, so um, I'm down with it. I think uh, one of the earlier issues had the same like morphing uh, front and back uh, cover, right. and that's and that was that was the double. Yeah, this is a, yeah. So and that's what I thought this was uh, basically doing, but um, I guess that's supposed to be a homage. That was to yeah, another, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So um, I think I actually have that one, but um, actually, yeah, I do. Um, but yeah, now this is going to be a pass for the price. If I could get it at retail, I would grab this issue because it would look dope on the wall. Right. So rolling back on the last book. So cash it. Lando said stash. I love Gambit. And uh, DJ Desperado said stash as well. So for this book, Joel says cash. Tan Khan says cash. Yeah. And I think, I mean, we both said cash. I'm pretty sure everyone else is going to be like cash on this as well. Like I said, that's the only reason why this book is at these levels. I don't think that it's, you know, necessarily for these levels that, you know, I I wouldn't see why you wouldn't cash it, you know. And all of the Alex Ross covers are fire, by the way, for uh, Immortal Hulk. Like, they're all fire. So, Mm -hmm. Note of that, they're they're all fire, but still for the price pass. And I don't like that alien cover. Oh, I don't either. The one I do like though, the the one alien, uh, a Marvel versus Aliens that I I did. Find, I mean, I like, like a lot of them, but <laughs> I haven't seen all of them. But the one that really did ca- catch my attention was the uh, the Raja Daredevil cover because like that way that blue hits, and then you got the red, and you can see like in the blue sonic waves. Uh, the aliens like outline and it's okay. clearly like behind him hunting him so I thought that was really dope and then you have like Daredevil you can see like he's tapping his wand on the pipes in the uh, tunnel so you can create the ways to see like what's going on so, I don't know I think that was really cool I think there's a lot of detail into it so the alien appeared as invisible for a blind person what <laughs> No, this uh, one. Uh, oh God, I don't even know. <laughs> like that's a fair question. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, he's in. The, he's in. The, he's clearly in the sewers. He's tapping the wand to you know be able to figure out. I, yeah, I don't know, man. That's a, that's a great question at this point. Yo, um, this uh autofocus really hates you today. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I don't either. But it's cool. I got you. <laughs> so uh, Lando says, "Pass on the Immortal Hulk because I don't have it." He says, uh, so I'm definitely not buying it yeah. at the price. And I can completely agree with that. Errors don't do it for me. I'm not falling for the okie doke. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm with you on that. Like I said, if you if you already picked it up. Like if you, DJ Desperado says, I got this for yesterday for cover price on my LCS. Boom. So is it going to be Great. a stash for you or are you going to cash it? I'd cash it. Uh, all right. Cool. So, all right, next book up is going to be Forever Map. This is from 2019. Uh, this is another situation where it's option for a movie. Um, currently going for $20 raw. And basically, idea behind this book is this is a person, the char- main character finds a map, which basically leads him to more maps, and he's constantly on the hunt to find wherever it goes. And Luna... <laughs> what you popped up Luna? <laughs> oh, dang! <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know which one this is. Uh, it's the one that's got like the the crow, the bird, and the boy on it. Oh, yeah. And, well, guess yeah. what, Brandon? Forever you Matt. missed it. I missed it. Yeah. yeah, I knew something went wrong. All right, guys, give us a minute, but we're gonna throw that up there. Yeah. But I'm gonna keep going with the uh, you know, the whole idea with the book. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, so the main character finds a map he's trying to f- figure out like where it goes and what the treasure is and everything but basically what it ends up doing is just keeps leading him to a map i believe there should be an end but i haven't read it so i can completely tell you um but yeah so as he keeps going he keeps finding these maps it just keeps him leading him to the next one and to another one and to another one and he's not aging over this time frame as he's on this hunt for each map but if he does turn the course of deciding not to go for it and, you know, continue to hunt after the, the map, then that's when he actually starts to begin to age. <laughs> Joel said that's why Brandon should be running the show. Shots fired. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I'm trying to get him to, too. The wild part. Hold on. Yeah. DJ Desperado said flash, but I'm not sure. If, was it supposed to be cash? 
or really flash. No, he's gonna flash it. What did they do? Uh oh, hold on. Can I? Can I? Um. Okay, so uh, DJ Desperado, I don't know what you said, but they restricted your message, and I can't change it. I can't add it to even see like what it was. He flashed it. I told you. Yeah, no, I, I don't. I don't know. All right. Well, I'm gonna just post this. So. Yeah. Wait. What happened? Fla what? What is flash? But he says it's a stash for him. Uh, Tan contest amateur hour. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay, that's still referring to you. You said forever, Matt. Boom. Okay. But yeah, no. Nah, uh, I'm cool with hey, this. All right. You know, so some sometimes people just gotta, you know, take take those uh take those hits, and I'm and I'm and I'm willing to be the one who takes it. Also, there we go. Yeah. Uh. Joel says, based solely on Brandon's description, I'm going to pass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pass too. I'm right there with you. Um, yeah, no, nah, I can honestly see. So I was gonna sit here and say that because it's a movie, and not necessarily a series that has something more continuous. Which I feel like the way this, the way that it's described, it should be like a series that you get to see his adventure going on and like you know eventually leading up to something. But I clearly they're gonna sum it up into a whole movie. And that's gonna basically be the whole situation. I would. I don't know. I don't like the cover, and um, I don't want no smoke with Dora. So I'm gonna fall back. <laughs> there's only there's only one map to rule them all. Ooh. And it's map. Map name map. Yeah, a map name map. <laughs> all right. So Joel says pass. Tancon says pass. Lando says stash. I. It's hard, all right, man, because it's a movie, and like I said, it. I don't know what the longevity is going to be with it as, you know, it being a movie format, like TV show. I would be like, all right, yeah, definitely stash it and see where it goes, because honestly, I don't think the $20 uh, price on it is that bad. Um, I can kind of rationalize it a little bit, but there are a lot of copies, so I'd say shop around, because you can honestly probably pick this up for a little bit less than uh, $20, probably about 10 to four, uh, 14 that don't make me want it anymore. Joel says sell on the trailer. Um, but oh, there's a trailer? Nah. Oh, sell nah, on the trailer. Like, gotcha, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Um, so, I don't think it's high enough to even cash it. So, I I mean, see what you can do with it. You know, keep an eye on it. You come across it, probably go ahead and cash out on it. But, yeah, I, I would have to pass as well. I'm not going to – I would – like even though I don't see the twenty price, uh, not gonna chase as a this bad thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna chase this book. Ad. <laughs> you know, I could definitely see you can get it for less. And who knows? You know, if uh, heat dies on, and this book is probably gonna you know go down if it gets pushed back, or there's no actual real date as to when this uh, movie will arrive. So. I don't want anything in sepia tone. Tancon says, "Not a Star Wars pass." <laughs> So you got the opposite of slam. If it's a Star Wars pass. Alright, so with that being said, we got this next book. This is Luna. This is the Jenny Fearson Virgin variant. Um one in twenty five ratio variant at that. And currently going for thirty dollars raw. I like this cover. I was actually supposed to pick this book up when we were uh at the LCS, uh the regular cover, not the not the virgin. But um I was interested. I like the cover. It was it I really like the artwork for it. It intrigued me enough. Um, I'm probably going to check it out next week and try and grab a copy just to read to see what it's about and everything like that. Uh, but $30, I couldn't even tell you. I don't know enough about the story to even really speak on it, but I like the cover. And we know Jenny, Jenny Fearson got the uh, the fan base and uh, covers are on fire usually, so I can see stashing it. And it is an issue one for this series so it would look great on somebody's wall that's not mine this is a pass for me but probably a cash if i had it um yeah nah it looks really cool i just not don't fit my vibe it's too hippie for me 
Ooh, shots fired. Nah, but uh, Joel said saw Luna on the shelves and passed. So, look, I'll let you guys know. You know, if I if I end up picking it up uh, next week, I'll let you guys know what you know how I'm feeling about it. So, mm-hmm. but yeah, I do like the artwork though. Tank on didn't say uh, she dummy thick though. She's not. <laughs> Uh, all right so moving on to this next book right so we have a book this is a book that we did speak on last week this is black panther uh world of wakanda number one but this is the 50th anniversary which has a female black panther on it i'm going to only guess that it's shuri but i mean could be wrong who knows um, but yeah, so this book is clearly spiking because World of Wakanda, uh, Wakanda was, you know, or basically Disney Plus series going to be diving a little bit more into the the world of Wakanda. And so with the whole same phrase of that nature, connecting it with the book, World of Wakanda, people are specking on it. I do want to say be careful on this book. Uh, just because there's nothing fully confirmed as to the nature of where and the direction of where they're going to go for this Disney Plus series. But I will say that if there was something for them to do for a Disney Plus series, this would probably make the most sense. I think it fits really well um, with the fact that it follows the life and uh, adventures of the Dormilaje uh, as far as the... Uh, like what they're doing behind the scenes, the things that we're not seeing, the the fights that they are taking on that we have we have no knowledge of. So I think that would be a great idea for a series. If there was something for them to go off of, this would probably be it. On top of this, you have the fact that this book is the first appearance of uh, Mistress Zula, who is the basically the leader of them. You know, so you got a first appearance attached to this you have some pretty good content that could be very spec worthy in my opinion and i mean look who's on the cover so we already know how the people are feeling about the spec on uh, shuri and the black panther and everything like that so you have a lot going for this book and i believe that this is uh this 50th anniversary cover is a 1 in 25 ratio variant so black cover first appearance great potential spec Shuri on the cover you got a lot going for it I'd stash it yeah it's a stash even though this is not my uh, animation style exactly I mean I feel the same way but I think this book got a lot going for it current price right now $80 Uh, shop around that's all I'm going to say but yeah like I I like the contrast but yeah now the animation style not necessarily my realm so but it's probably Mm, yeah, eighty dollars. That's deep. It might be a cash. It's a cash for me. <laughs> Just for mine. So Tancom referring to Luna in the last book. She said he says she's not pass. <laughs> she is not dummy thick. We know. Shout out to the dirt bikes outside. Uh, Tancom also says off the strength of Brandon's ex- explanation, I'm stashing it. So I guess this refer- yeah, it's yeah, it's got to be referred to. There are <laughs> other copies. There are other copies. Oh, right, matter of fact, yeah, that's what we're gonna get into. So there are other copies. We're gonna go ahead and bring them to you. Uh, hip hop variant. Yeah, go ahead and throw that hip hop variant. So boom. Basically, we're gonna have this hip hop variant coming up. This is basically. Uh, homage to Dre's uh, Compton. Compton. So, no you know, the, the hip hop variants are uh, uh, p- very popular. You have this whole city of Wakanda where you can see clearly down there. You're getting that, that, uh, that Hollywood sign experience as, you, as if you're looking down uh, from Which the Hollywood. Definitely area. isn't in Wakanda, by the way. It's definitely not. <laughs> but uh, maybe they got a Wakanda version. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, uh, yeah. Hip hop variants are fairly popular. Can't remember what this one was sitting at. I didn't even. Did I pick up the prices on this one? No, I didn't. Okay, so uh, I'll check real quick. But yeah, I can. I don't know. This is this is not the one that I would particularly go for. 
uh, we can honestly see what the price range is running on it. But you know, sixty pick up what you dollars can. is the low I see. Oh really? Uh, let's see. I'm going to sold. It sold for twenty five dollars the last few. Okay, I was gonna say that's kind of deep on on that. I wouldn't expect that cover to even hit that peak, but honestly, I can see it now that people are specking on, you know. Yeah, the last several copies. Content. Every copy this year sold for twenty five dollars. That's probably right, all so, the same seller as well. So, so shop around. Uh, you can probably like like I said, I don't I don't think this is one of those hip hop covers that a lot of people are going for. Yeah, you might be able to find it at the LCS. <sighs> yeah, pick it up for a little bit cheaper. Um, now this other one which is probably my favorite one out of all of them, is another 1 in 25, but this is not the anniversary uh, 1 in 25. This is a regular 1 in 25, and I'm, I'm literally trying to get a copy of this myself. I really like this cover. Um, I don't know. Colors, texture, how they have the whole setup of the artwork in general. Um, but, yeah, I, think, I believe like this one's currently going for like about – well. Prices are varying on this one. I was looking at it. So some are about like $75. Other ones are about $100. There's a bunch of them, you know, currently, you know, with uh, auctions going on currently. So try and hit one of those auctions if you find this one to be interesting to you. Yeah. I'm already, I, I got them watched. So I'm going to see what's going on with that. But um, this one is the one I would most definitely be like, yeah, I'm stashing. That's, this one's for me. All right. So we have a few. All uh, right. So for $100 recently. A few best offers have been accepted, one at $102, which we don't know the price, and then one was listed as $150. Uh, we have a combination, the uh, both of the 1 in 25 variants, the uh, anniversary and this one, were uh, sold for $74 on a bid, so congratulations Ooh, to, to them. That yeah, and then um, we have a, the one that sold for $20 on February 1st. So once again, shout out to them. And then if you go deeper, you'll see the, the uh, first variant that we mentioned, the anniversary variant, went for $24. And before that, it was going for $8 and $5 Crazy. on February 1st. So, so yeah. with that being said, clearly there is some very high inflation going on with this book. Once again, we've yeah. stated there is no actual confirmation that anything from these books will be used to, you know, basically be a part of what they're working on on this project. Mm -hmm. uh, but, like I said, I can see why people can get that idea. Um, I think this is a book kind of worth having. Um, not even, even if that's not what they're doing right now, maybe they will dive into it later on. So, you know, this could potentially, they start taking stuff in later on into the series if they, you know, decide to go that route. So I think this is something still worth to hold on to stash it that's my opinion that's where i'm sitting at yeah and then of course we have the regular cover the what the regular cover oh, i thought you said the riddler cover i was like yes, what the regular cover. but yeah the regular yes cover and the, so the regular cover which is what we covered last week so um not nearly as interesting as the other one no so you know not not a bad cover it's just you know but it does show the uh the uh relationship that is at the forefront of the uh series as a whole so that's the <laughs> one thing that it does show so yes yeah uh stash one of them hold on let me see so Joel says at this point any black panther that they show up in <clears throat> On this list is a stash for me. Lando says stash. Uh, Tan Con says Slan's favorite Dre album. <laughs> of, of course. Yeah. It goes Compton, uh, the 2001 remix album, um, and then 2001, and then The Chronic. Joel also says uh, I'm a sucker for hip hop covers. Tancon says that covers fire, so I'm guessing you're referring to that last one in 25 variant. Angel says, oh, that's nice. So, yeah. Yeah, that one in 25 is fire. Moving on to that next one. Mm -hmm. uh, so, we have, all right. Once again, just like uh, the Hulk. Actually, no. Technically, this is, this is just one I decided to put together this way. So, on their list, they have War of the Realms, number, uh, Agents of... New Agents of Atlas number one. Uh, this has a good handful of first appearances, and that's already enough for you to uh, have to even consider picking this book up at this point. Mm -hmm. 
I wasn't going to chase it. I had been, uh, I honestly did not see this book, like, because I'm like, newer characters like this, I'm not expecting them to go and potentially throw them into any of the, the content that we're going to be receiving anytime soon. But people are thinking otherwise, just off the simple fact that Kevin Feige has stated that uh, there is going to be a team that we will be receiving pretty soon that is going to, you know, kind of be tied into the, uh, the I guess, the Shang... Shang-Chi? Shang, but are we saying that correctly? Because I, I feel like... Shang-Chi, yes. Okay, Shang-Chi. Okay. All right. Um, but yeah, so coming from that, that segment and I can see why people are thinking this is a potential thing. Um, so this is the regular cover, right? And regular cover is currently going for, uh, 9.8 at $200. Not too bad. Now, the reason why this is kind of on the cheap end is because it has several different variants. It's got a 1 in 25. It's got a 1 in 50. All right. And then on top of that, then it's got a second print, which is a, there's a, the ones that I threw, I didn't throw on the second print regular dress cover, but I did throw on the second print uh, version variant. So this is the 1 in 25 that's showing up right now. And the 1 in 25 is currently going for, uh, well, basically from what I saw, I looked through eBay. They had a copy that sold for $75 on February 2nd. And then a 9.8 copy that sold February 4th with a uh, for a best offer, but the asking price was $300. Okay. I've just been cycling through them. Oh, got you, got you. Okay. Um. And then he had another 9.8 copy that sold for exactly $175 on February 2nd as well. So even though there was one that was being asked for at 300 we don't necessarily know what that exact payment was because it was a best offer then you have that 1 in 50 copy which sold on November 22nd at for $314 raw and then there's another one that had a best offer on February 2nd and the asking price was $399 raw so right there for this one in fifty, you're already saying that you're paying a pretty high premium. So just imagine what you're gonna sit there and pay for a nine point eight. Because I did see that currently right now we have people asking for nine point eight copies sitting at from one thousand one hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents to one thousand three hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. And then there is one one copy that's a nine point eight signature series on eBay right now for three thousand five hundred dollars crazy to think that this book came out in 2019 and here we are only a couple of years later and this book's already hitting you know high tier levels you know next thing you know this is going to be like a miles morales situation if we start to really see more things rolling in that the characters from these books are going to be showing up all right so after the one in 50 ratio uh, ratio variant we have the second print all right, which is the virgin co uh, cover that you see on the screen. And yeah, that's going for $180. And I believe that's in a 9.8 right now. Now, the third print, which is another one that you want to keep an eye on, just because of the way the community moves off of these books. All right, that's the only reason why I'm saying this on this third print. All right, the third print is currently going for $202.49, which people are probably going to be like, yo, that's really a lot of money right now for a third print but this is the reason why there's only 1451 copies that were ordered in by retailers so this one's going to be a kind of scarce one you're going to have to keep your eye out for it if that's the move, way you want to move i'm not really too worried about it i think that the uh, virgin cover is the one that i want to go for or that one in 50 ratio because i really think that's like the hardest one out of the uh the main three um not too crazy about this third print, but we know the way that these these other prints that are outside of you know the first and everything move. That this is probably the one that keeps the eye on the most because of the the scarcity on it. But I guess to sum it up, stash. Yes, stash. <laughs> no, I was rambling, but stash. Uh, let's see. Joe says stash and I should send my one copy down to CGC for future cash. 
Yeah. <laughs> Lando says, big time stash. The 1 in 50 is the one to have for this. And I absolutely agree, yeah. Like I said, for based off the numbers I'm seeing, and I honestly just think that it's one of the harder covers out of those regular covers, you know, that are not uh, a second and third print or a store exclusive or anything like that. Which, I mean, maybe even keep an eye out on the store exclusives as well. Like, that's not my thing. I'm not, I, I've kind of moved from trying to really get those store exclusives. Um, unless it's just something that I'm just like, yo, I can't deny this artwork. Like, this John is fire. I'm going to go ahead and I can pick it up at a nice, you know, reasonable price. You know, go ahead. Like, you know, when you get those deals, when you get, like, the the, the dress, the uh, version cover and something, maybe another book, three books for, like, what, about, like, $20, $25 or something like that to 60 Like, I'm like, all right, cool. Why not? Because especially when you know that those books are going to move into a higher price point, I can get it. And matter of fact, that's it. That is literally it. That's the that's the last book for uh, for the day. So we did it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are specking on some of these books. And good luck hunting. I just noticed that we just moved into the, the little box thing. Crazy. All right, but <laughs> crazy. <laughs> How did you do that? No I'm joking. This is this is this feels really weird because it's only eight thirty eight and usually we're 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 going for a good minute and I I mean I threw extra stuff in here so I'm surprised we even you know ended this early right um Joel says thank you guys thank you guys for coming to you know hang out with us you know this is always great and you get to see everybody's feedback this is one of the big things why I think this is really good ideas because you can get to see people that are in the community in the market you know getting their ideas and their thoughts on how they're feeling about the particular book because this kind of gives you the gauge of like all right is this worth really looking into is this not worth looking into and even getting the perspective of why other people are even considering this book to be reasonably priced not priced mm -hmm. valuable for any reason particular reason so yeah lando says great stream i'm going to like as soon as we get off this i'm going to hit you in the uh, dm let me actually scroll back and i'll go ahead and uh yeah, so we could talk about uh, we could talk about the collection, Joel. So yeah, um, yeah, like like we were saying, um, we we were at the uh, when we went to um, Big Planet on Wednesday. Cool stuff collectibles was there, and yeah, he was uh telling us about the uh, collection. He was like, yeah, I went to the store in Crofton, and he was like, yeah, he uh, he went, and he got, he went out to Arkansas, and he got a collection, and we were like. Yo, we know what you're talking about. <laughs> so he's like, yeah. So he was talking. He was talking about how he had like a whole short box of uh, the Star Wars ones. And then uh, he actually, um, if you're not subscribed to him, uh, check out his channel. I mean, actually, you've been there. So, it, but I mean, still, you know, check out his channel. Um, he posted at the end of. He posted at the end of his, uh, not the last video, because he posted a video today, but on Wednesday, he posted the collection, or at least what they had out that day, and yeah, he was saying that it was nuts, and just from the video, we could tell that it's nuts. There was books on the floor, books on the shelves, oh, yeah. like, there's books everywhere, and it looked like there was a, a, like a beautiful amount of stuff there, yeah, okay, so if you're sub to Rob, great, good, good, uh, yeah, but uh, then, yeah, so while we were at Big Planet, you know, um yeah so yeah it was a wednesday's video um he was talking about some books to spec on and he uh yeah showed that at the tail end of the video and we were just like oh my gosh we have to go here absolutely <laughs> candy shop like yeah. even in, and not even regarding to the books that they just got in i the, the books that the clearly have already been there for quite yeah. some time because i know they had the book that i'm looking for mm -hmm. i saw it in the video which was the uh the X Men 35 with Scott Spider Man when he first oh meets the X Men and everything. It's the, the first appearance of the Changeling. He that is he, a book that he, I want. He said he gave me a free Wolverine number one when I bought that Brother Voodoo. Shh. What? Oh man, I phew, I wish I was there to get that. Man, I might have to, I might have to spend the money to make the trip over there. Honestly. So I, I can you confirm Ooh. or deny whether or not there is a Fantasy 15 in existence in this thing? Because I, 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 I might actually consider you know. Cash now depending on how high the grade is and uh, how much they're asking for it. Only because it's local and I don't have to worry about shipping and handling. I spend a lot of money there. And then that's like, 
So that's that's the thing is like I like Big Planet. Big Planet is definitely a cool place to, you know, grab all of the oh <laughs> said it, it's at CGC right now, the Amazing Fantasy fifteen. Word, so okay. Probably, all right. I'm, that's what's probably a wrap. You can't get that role. I mean he I'm thinks cool one point five and reference nine K. Word. <laughs> I mean, it's cheaper than the 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 one twenty nine that I, I was aiming for. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. What was it saying? Yeah. Big Planet is cool. It has it has a nice assortment of books, and you could especially you know grab the new stuff. Uh, we still been having issues with these uh variants and uh. Yo. Yeah. Like the the way that uh, those are uh, showing up or or not showing up, lack thereof. Uh. So. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's been an issue there, but yeah, like their their back issues uh, hasn't necessarily been something that's like crazy. But like seeing that is just like, oh man, we have to go in there. Uh, he's like, okay, Joe says there's a Tomb of Dracula one in the new collection. Man, we're gonna have to go. Like I don't know when we're gonna be able to go, but we have to go. Right in rent a car. What's good? I'll pay. Amazing Fantasy fifteen. <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man 129, Marvel Spotlight 5, and Western Ghost Rider. Those are the key books that, I, that are on my list right now. And then a, a giant size, if you know, it just happens to be there. Uh, so, yeah, the House of Secrets 92, that's definitely on my list. Uh, yeah, so definitely got to, you know, check it out. But yeah, like so, like I was saying, Big Planet doesn't have that you know uh, extensive like back issue thing. Brandon had show uh, said he was like, "Man, we live so close to the city. Why don't we have these stores like this?" And I was like, "Yeah, I was like, it, it's either an issue of you know maybe people close to the city um, aren't really uh, collecting comic books like that, or maybe it's just you know the overall price of." the uh the buildings like the establishments there because right. if you think about it like beyond comics all the way out in frederick right. and then you have a uh, third eye in annapolis and uh this one tbc you know you have in crofton it's just like yeah these uh not necessarily you know bustling cities we're like right outside of the city and and yeah. big planets on a college campus so you know you would expect there to be more people but mm, not necessarily yeah but I mean, I can say this. Opening time now is completely different than opening time before COVID. Mm -hmm. So, um, just because when I would go there, when I when I had the time to be able to do so, there would be like a good like eight to nine people there, mm -hmm. you know. And now, I mean, when we went, I don't know what it's been like when you've gone, but like when I was able to just get to go last week. Oh yeah, there was only, only one person. Yeah, yeah, so, so it's usually more. It's not. I mean, not like a lot more. It's probably five people there, but usually more. And then the time we went with Eric, there was you know at least ten people there because she had to cut people off and keep them out. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's a timing thing, and people aren't necessarily jumping to get the new comics right now. Probably is yeah. what it seems like. Um, but. Ah. And guys, wish me luck that uh, my book actually makes it here because it was marked as delivered and it's still not. It's still not here. Oh my gosh! Well, speaking of new comic books, uh, <laughs> got a few here. We got a uh, Dark Detective issue three. I haven't read this yet, but I've been reading Dark Detective. This is a uh, one of my favorite series in the uh, Future State. And then we have the uh, second printing of the uh, Future State Teen Titans. Um. We have the uh, second issue, Future State Teen Titans. Still uh, got to read that. And let's see, what else? Uh, Justice League 2. Uh, da, 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 da. Then I went and I got the Maniac in New York. I have to read this. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll read this tonight. So it's not the variant issue; it's just a regular. Um, then Future State next Batman three. I realized that these issues are not That's a dope high cover. enough. Yeah, I like it. Um, it's not the cover I wanted though. So, boom. Um, let's see. Then we have the uh, Wenham versus Carnage number two, the variant that uh, Brandon has been so adamant about. When did I pick that up? 
Future State Wonder Woman number two. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh, because I, I I saw that then. I was like, well, did you already show that already? Right. And then we got a uh, Future State Swamp Thing number two, the variant. Oh, uh, let's see. And then I got the second print of A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. And this is not a book that I uh, bought. Uh, this is actually something that I was supposed to do an unboxing for, but I was kind of antsy because the box was a little iffy, so I went and got it. But this is the uh, All-Star Batman and Robin number eight, the RRP. Uh, Neil Adams cover with the uh, a a a amalgamation face right there. Uh, man, like I, I love this cover, so I had to finally break down and buy it. So I'm going to send this out to CGC. Hopefully it comes back in a grade higher than a 9.4 because I priced it at a 9.4. Uh, Joe says, I was looking for that cover B of Future State Teen Titans. Nowhere to be found. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> we weren't the only ones. All right. That's good to know. I mean, it kind of sucks to know that, but it's good to know that we weren't the only ones that had that issue because we were trying to figure out what was going on. We, we've already stated it several times that we've gone to, uh, you know, um, Big Planet and then run into the issues of the cover bees not being available and then they are available later. Mm -hmm. And so we're thinking like, yo, they're just hiding them because we're just like, how do you have all these cover A's but the cover B's are not available. You should have been able to get those in. Right. And it sucks because like clearly people, there was other places that had them. And cause you could see on eBay, people had oh, several copies. There's like people that had like 10 copies. Mm -hmm. There's one, there's one seller that literally sold 148 copies. I believe when I checked, that's what their thing was showing. And so I'm like, how does this person have 148? I don't even care. Like, I'm not even trying to collect it off of like resale. I'm collecting it. Cause I think the cover is dope and I'm a fan of red X. Yeah. And luckily Sam was able to pick them uh, pick up a couple copies. So there's one that I was trying to go for. And then it just sold like, as I was like, I was trying to make sure like I had checked to make sure like there's, uh, I missed not checking the description to make sure there was not anything like, you know, hinted that, you know, it was damaged or anything. Cause mm -hmm. like, Oh yo, or are they selling it like at, you know, $9 or whatever it was at or something like that. So I clicked out of it and then I, I read it and I was like, okay, it's cool. And then I went to go try and, you know, hit, and it was like, it wasn't going through. And so I hit refresh and it was like, uh, I was like, I was trying I was so confused because there's clearly an error going on because the page was still there, but like the options to like make a, a, a an offer or like even just pay was gone. I was just like, mm. what? Are they? Did they like block me? I was like, is this a thing? Can you like block people from purchasing your stuff on eBay? Right. But yeah, so, uh, so we'll see what happens with that book. Joel, uh, he says, uh, Brian is checking out his savings account to see if he can swing that AF fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> but then he also says the DC books haven't been consistently delivered, from what I hear. And I mean, I would hope that was the case, but I feel like, especially with Big Planet, it seems like it's not the case, and it's really weird because I was at the checkout and i was like so so last oh, yeah, week yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well not last week uh two weeks ago i think two or three weeks ago when i uh asked about it i was like are you guys getting the cover b of the uh future state teen titans 2 and they were like um mm, i haven't heard anything about it so they checked and they were like um hmm, i'm seeing we get the cover a we should get it and i was like okay cool and he's like yeah and it comes out february 9th so i was like great so then when we got there there was nothing there and then um, I was like, so did you guys get the cover B of the Future State Teen Titans? And it was like, he just didn't respond. He was like, mm, um, no, 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 no. And then didn't answer. Brandon's in the back, like, cooperating. Like, he's, he, he just didn't respond to my question. <laughs> and then uh, we ended up calling Alliance, though. Uh, and they told us that. Yeah, they they were like, no, we're we're sold out. Like so mm -hmm. so they got it. They were just sold out of it. So so I'm feeling like for the variant issues, it it's seeming like Alliance is gonna be the better bet. The only thing is it's further away, and we work during the day, so it's harder to you know get the ability to go out there. Yeah. Uh, one minute. 
Silence. Silence in the hills. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I guess that's gonna be it. I mean, here we are. We we pushed it up to almost nine o'clock, and yeah, we're just gonna end it like this. Once again, thanks to everybody for you. Hold know, on, to check hold us out. on. What I missed? Tancon comes through and says, "Excited about the Snyder Cut at all?" Yes, very Absolutely. excited. Absolutely. I'm I'm one of the people that's interested in it, and I'm looking forward to the trailer that comes out on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Brandon is now selling stock to get that A15. <laughs> I don't tempt me. I will do it. Like you said, if it's nine, if it, if it's uh, if it's gonna go for that much, if it comes back to one point five, I will consider it. But uh, I've already I've been like, I'm like, all right. So uh, this is the thing. Uh, basically, where it's sitting at. If I were to take out a certain amount of money, I would probably prevent myself from being able to day trade. I don't day trade, so it's almost like a it doesn't matter, but it's nice to have the ability to like not be concerned. Like if I wanted to like jump in and out of something, but um, I've been considering. Or I'm just like, yo, just let it hang, and then I might just like if I can't pick up one, then I'll just go ahead and uh, try and stick with that uh, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 129. But like I said, if it's not a a uh, Fantasy 15, Amazing 129, uh, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 129, Marvel Spotlight 5. And what else did I say? Western Ghost Rider. Those are like probably like my my main ones right there. All right. I'm gonna need uh Gabriel Delato to stop killing these covers on black. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's I think that's gonna do it. Joe says, I'll come show for you to and from the store if you want to pull that trigger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. man. That's that's a uh, that's very, uh, very nice. I would uh, I would do the same thing. I'll, I'll pay for his Uber, but um, I'd look at the book and then get in the Uber back and <laughs> just <laughs> strand him. I, I I honestly figure like I I feel like I should start making those moves now because like yeah the books are getting older the demand for the books are getting higher and I just kind of want to just get to the point because I don't I I my idea is to pay as least as possible and it seems like with my luck it's been like purchase the book and next thing you know boom the book moves up so um the reason why I was considering one I like all right. With the Amazing Spider-Man 129, with it being the first appearance of Punisher, Punisher was never a character I actually enjoyed as a kid. Like I didn't get it. I was like, "Yo, this guy." I kind of had like name more feelings for him. Like I was like, "Yo, this guy is a jerk. He's trying to like you know just mess with people and everything." And he's angry for like I don't want to say no reason. Like I knew the reason, but uh, yeah. After a while, like I started to get older and I started to understand. The Punisher a little bit more like this man is going through some real stuff you know and then he's taking it upon himself to kind of do right at the point with his uh his skills so I think that the Netflix series solidified that for me to be like yo this is a dope character and I got I have to say that I was late to the uh the game and now it's a book that I want and then it's also a book that you know with the properties going back to, you know, Marvel, that it's a book that still has potential to, you know, continue to grow. So So what you're telling me is that Thomas Jane did not do it for you. Did not. I didn't dislike the movie though. What about Punisher Warzone? I did not like Punisher Warzone. And that was probably like the most agree like I feel like I should have just because of the level of action pack like it was, but yeah, it was not the movie for me. So Joel says, I'm sure they can get you a 129 if that's where you would like to spend your money. He has a network. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, we're just going to have to go out there and, uh, you know, be regulars. Oh, we're just, even, even if you're not right, get, we got to get, get out there at get, some point. Get a car. Yeah. I mean, yeah, when, when we leave this place, bro, like, parking is the worst here. And that's why it's, it's great it's to not, not have a car. You just got to pay for it. What? 
I said it's not. You just gotta pay for it. Oh yeah, nah, nah, not these prices. <laughs> not what they're asking not for. Not even high. But yeah, we'll leave it at that. Uh, we're gonna end out for the night. Uh, anybody watching this on the re- well, first no, I'm gonna start by saying thank you for everybody that was with us tonight. All right, be sure to like. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to subscribe. Anybody watching us in the replay, be sure to like and subscribe. We are approaching 500. We're getting there a little bit closer. I want to actually take the time to shout out. Uh, let me see if I can even see them because I didn't get any notifications of our new subscribers because we are now currently at 415. Yeah, nothing's showing up. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so who, whoever our new we, subscribers are, we they... Know, we know Cool Stuff Collectibles is one of them. True, true. But then we that leave us with like about two more, correct? Mm, one. One? Mm-hmm. I thought we were at like 112 last time. We were at 413. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, one more person. So, whoever you are, thank you. And we will leave it like that. Be sure to catch us next Friday. Hopefully, we'll have a little bit more to uh, talk about. Or a little bit more. Like, I, I like the fact that each, you know, it's, it's like the it's further and further we go. <laughs> the further and further we go, you know, there's more people join us. And this makes this whole experience a whole lot, you know, more enjoyable. And leave it at that. Keep us locked in. We'll see you next week. And peace. I missed the button. <laughs> <laughs>